people ask the question. What's a rock and roller? And I'll tell them. It's not about drums, drugs, and hospital trips. Oh, no. There's more there than that, my friend. We all like a bit of a good life. Some the money. Some the drugs. Others the sex game. The glamour. Or the fame. But a rock and roller? Oh, he's different. Why? Because a real rock and roller wants the fucking love. <laughs> I mean, what a goddamn horse of a vehicle. Get yourself a loaf. Review over. <laughs> no, I mean, alright. I'll try my best. I'll, I'll try and stick to the script. Look at it. Rams a P12 out of the way. You ain't got time for that. I'm having the time of my life. I'm in a loaf, riding a dolphin, and I've got a semi. That's how great life is. See? Stick a winch on my dolphin, and I'm off. <laughs> I mean, Christ, do I need to say it? Get yourself a loaf. Right, let's get stuck into it. Look at the little beauty. Right, as for the engine, probably nuclear, I'm not quite sure. The power is basically, it went up to S+, plus. it's gone round the clock, and it's like four bars more. It's a pretty good engine, it'll get you by, it'll do the job. Gearbox, freeway. It's the fastest gearbox, that'll do. <laughs> I kind of zoned out now, I was just looking at the loafiness of the loaf, and I forgot that I was recording, so I did an extra flick or two through the raised suspension. But it raises it a little bit, does the job. Again, she'll she'll see you, she'll see you right in the moment of need. Uh, as for tyres, see, I'm not a chained fanboy. I like my muds on this one. I think they look better, and I don't know. I like them. I also don't think the uh, chained. Well, I know they're not uh, like chained versions of the muds. Winches, right, you've basically got two main choices. If you really never ever want to get stuck and you always want to make it, do an autonomous winch. I personally prefer the advanced winch because it's longer, stronger, etc, etc. I just usually take two loafs and one's got the autonomous, one's got the advanced winch. If you put a spare tyre on the back you can't tow trailers but we'll get into the trailers later because they're crap. Uh, frame add-ons, roof rack, like there's it, not that affected really by the roof rack bug but I just never really bother anymore but we'll see a little bit of the roof rack later on. As for the snorkel I go for the mushroom one, I reckon it's a tiny bit higher. As for all the attachments, I mean look at that like a tit head. Um, yeah you've got parking lights, aircon, horns uh, all those bumpers and that, it's like a little Tommy Cooper hat just like that um, that, I believe, actually has some weight to it, and I'll explain that a little bit later, but I believe it does. Um, yeah, the bumpers, I just leave it stock. I've got, I've had some loafs, I've probably got some loafs that have got different bumpers on, but for this, for this loaf, I'm, uh, yeah, I just like to keep it like that. It digs in very nicely, which I know you might think is bad, but trust me, it's not. <laughs> It's save you bacon. There's like a custom paint job for it, it's pretty cool, but this is my OG, triple OG loaf. So these are the colours you can get. Uh, blue, a kind of orangey, that's like my wholemeal loaf, that should probably be <laughs> what colour he should be. Uh, there's a yellow one, green one, like the yellow and orange are pretty nice. The other sort, the blue suits it as well, but yeah. That's my loaf, my black loaf with his little, uh, he's got his little tit on his head at the minute, I might just go and take that off. But, I mean, it's there if you want it. So, yeah, let's get stuck in and check her out. Like I say, get yourself a loaf. It's a goddamn beast. It's like, I don't know, it just saves you bacon every time. Every time I've needed it to. It's got a 100% rescue record. And a damn high, like, you can roll it, but... It's not easy, and it'll roll back to its wheels a goddamn lot of the time. And I've got more hours into this loaf than, I'd say, most other people and probably any other vehicle. Uh, as for an interior look, it's pretty nice inside. Pretty modern. <laughs> I mean, views all around, 360 views. I can see the sky, I can see the floor. I can see through the back. I can see everything. 
I did notice though, oh when you look out here, I mean again, 360, no problem. See my wheels, got mirrors, yeah look, the curtains are yellow in that mirror, and then you look and they're green. That's like, that's just part of the magic of the loaf. I don't know what it's up to though, look, there's a suspicious package in the back. I mean I won't say anything if it won't, but got a pretty good horn. A bit like the P16 to be honest, they're about even. Um, yeah, we'll fire up and we'll go. I mean, corners like a, dog, a goddamn housefly. So well I can't even say it. Um, oh look, I, that was genuinely a glitch. I went through the gap, I made it, but of course I made it. Otherwise I would have just done it again. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're off. Like, I don't know, I personally, obviously I'm not going to try and say it's rapid, because it's not rapid, but it doesn't feel painfully slow and I don't know I think it's surprisingly good off-road just about everywhere except deep mud which a lot of things aren't great in deep mud but yeah I'm not gonna try and like this video you'll see the goodness of the loaf but I'm not gonna try and fix it in some way I've actually with many other videos if I made a mistake or I rolled I just did it again so a lot of the other videos have had you know, up to two, three, four, five attempts at doing something to get the footage right. Only more if I, like, make a mistake or I'm not happy with it, it's not clean footage. Yeah, this was like, I did fly through here loads, not because it was difficult, as you can see, but I've, like, I got up today, I haven't even replied to comments yet, and I apologise, I will catch up with them, possibly tomorrow, because I've been staring at my TV for about the last 14 hours, getting footage, editing. I, was, I did about eight hours yesterday. Like, yeah, I knew I had to hit the ground running for the old loaf, try and, try and squeeze it all in. That's what she said. Um, yeah, I, I, to be honest, there is, like this video could have easily just been eight hours long. I would have had no problem. See, that's what I'd do, though, instead of going over the mud, even though you've seen it was all right through there, but I'd just go round, and little things like that gap there, I appreciate I could have just gone round the other way, but there's times when you can't, and this thing... Part of the magic of it is it's small, it gets up everywhere, it rolls back to its wheels all the time, its fuel lasts for ages, it can wedge itself behind the, a tree, the back of it sits nicely against the tree because it's flat, the front uh, bumper when you need it to, or the front axle dig in, but then if you accelerate you can sort of get over stuff, like it's ridiculously good for 11 grand, I'm not just trying to have some gimmick and I wasn't like oh god I need to have something. If this was crap, I wouldn't use it, I'd go and try something else, but honestly, there's nowhere on these maps I can't get with it. Obviously, yeah, you're going to say, oh, well, the Tager would get there quicker. Like, you've seen me just winch it to the back of a dolphin, and I'm off. The reason why, again, this comes in handy is try winch a Tatarin on the back of your dolphin, and you'll drive along as slow as the Tatarin. Try and put a Tatarin in the back of your dolphin or anything else, and it doesn't fit properly, and it's heavy, and blah, blah, blah. This thing, you can just winch it to the dolphin, and it basically doesn't know. It's maybe top end, there is a bit, but realistically, you don't get into like that top end very often unless you're just flying down a road. But for going off-roading and all sorts, it stays in the same gear, or do you, like, I just usually put the dolphin in high. Um, yeah, and this is no hassle to bring along, and... Uh, up here, by the way, I was like, I tried getting up in high with no run-up, but... I took my chances, uh, I went up in auto in the end, gets up there just fine. Getting up here, I've kind of been pretty quick with some of these standard issue tests because it honestly, I mean it gets up here just fine, it's going to get anywhere you need, it's not going to be the ro most rapid along the roads, if you had to, if I had to travel from Northport to Pedro Bay, I'd take the 15 seconds that it takes, or say 30, to get a crane vehicle out, crane it into the back of the Dolphin at the garage. And then I'll just drive to Pedro Bay, and then if I roll at any point on the way to Pedro Bay, there's a pretty decent chance the loaf is going to land either on its wheels, or if I stuck an autonomous winch one in the back of the dolphin, then I'm definitely getting back on my wheels, and then I can flip the dolphin and blah blah blah. It's like, I basically originally almost discovered this as a joke, like when I was messing around weeks ago, I tried to flip a derry or something with it, and I was just going to say... 
if it didn't work, leave it in one of the videos and say, oh, I think I brought the wrong vehicle or something just stupid like that. And then it flipped it and I was like, oh, that's actually was a bit impressive. And then I think when I flew everything off the cliff to, in the white Western Star video, I only had the loaf left and then that flipped the white Western Star. And then it was just like every now and then I was like, well, go on then, I'll try the loaf. And every goddamn time it flipped what I needed and then I started bringing it along with me. And the amount of hours this thing has saved me, because trying to get footage and I've rolled somewhere and I've just brought a loaf with me and it's like, yep, five seconds, you've seen it flip a collob in like six seconds up a mountain, which I reckon I've reviewed pretty much most of the biggies and I reckon the collob is the hardest thing to flip and like, once you get it on its roof, it's not easy to flip back over. It depends where, like if you sat it in a gully it'd be a nightmare I mean look at this thing <laughs> that's the um, like the bad bit that a lot of the trucks can't get over I don't I mean that's the magic of the loaf I wasn't expecting it to get over there there's no edits or anything just before that by the way I've got uh, chain tires on at the minute because I was just trying the barrier tests and it isn't as good at uh, getting over the barriers in the muds but <laughs> I mean it somehow just jumped over that barrier because it's a horse of a vehicle it's like the Grand National it, uh, yeah, it jumped the barrier and I'm off. And as you've seen just before that, I just attached a winch to the tree stump and pulled myself over the barrier. So if I need to get over a barrier, I can. But obviously, yeah, this vehicle's biggest weakness as such, it can and it can't be, uh, is the wheels. Like, they're the smallest wheels out of all the scouts. So obviously, like, the... Caterpillar 745C has got like 71 inch alloys, or not alloys, like wheels, it's probably about nearly as tall as this thing, but because it is small and it, it's it got its weight low down, it uh, it's an absolute mountain goat, like yeah, it isn't amazing through deep mud, but like I say, loads of stuff isn't, but I with this thing I can reach very far and pull myself through the deep mud, but if I rolled somewhere in drowned lands and all I had to do was leave the garage and drive through a bit of deep mud I probably wouldn't take the loaf it depends what's flipped and blah 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 but I probably wouldn't it's like oh, I'll just fly out there with the dolphin and get it done but like I say when I bring a loaf with me it's just ridiculously handy it weighs nothing it lasts ages it gets the job done <laughs> it's got an insane winch on it they have they've not nerfed this winch I re I'm not sure if it's a bug or not but they've kind of broke the winches recently and they just have barely any tension on them and as soon as you let go of the winch you see the rope go slack and I don't even like seeing it it's like it's not good they need to put it back I mean them boxes were made see it got up to this point and you'd obviously think yeah a loaf's not getting over there but let's say loaf <laughs> loaf's a professional knows what it's doing stick a winch to the back of the loaf stick a winch uh, yeah like attach it to that tree and I drive over and I'm over so I've got ways of getting around these things. I mean, you've seen me before fly over here with a dolphin, a taiga, probably a couple of other things. I've certainly <laughs> flew over in a few other things. I don't know if I left them in the videos or not. I won't bother going through the It got through the trees, but it's pretty damn small, so I wasn't particularly worried. Uh, cargo test. I came, I like, look, I went to put cargo in. It says cargo management, and it says not enough space. It's like, what? I'm a goddamn cargo loaf, what are you talking about? So anyway, long story short, I got mates, I got cargo in there. Turning circle, like, pretty damn decent to be honest. Even with a trailer, like, at that point, it's like, well, it's like better than the ANK. Now, it's probably better than the Derry. I mean, it's basically, like, I can practically do a 360 <laughs> under the trailer, so trust me, it's better than the Derry. <laughs> and that's with a trailer. You've seen it corner like a house fly about. To be honest, if I had the trailer a little bit further back on the loaf, I would have been able to turn easier then, but I winched it too near me. And yeah, it is harder to turn if you winch it pretty close. But as you can see, I make the corner. Yeah, not really any issues. I <laughs> get the job done. It's a professional. Knows what it's doing. Well, yeah, we're having no issues here. I will say, though, going here off-road, I mean, you'll be thinking, oh, it's screwed.
just fine going along here. However, I'm going to call a technicality as well because because I've not got a saddle low to attach to the trailer, but I'm just using my winch and it's fine. The legs of the trailer won't go up, and right now I can't make it go forward, can't make it go back. It's just like stuck at the minute because it's it's just like locked in place. So yeah, I'd need something to basically pop the legs up, which. I mean, I can't help it if that semi-trailer doesn't know the magic of the loaf. Obviously, if I had time, there's plenty more <laughs> to, to come in the video, but I'll just stick that um, trailer on my roof and I'd winch over. So, I'm not saying again, like, this ain't the fastest thing across... Well, bits like here, if you've got a truck, obviously, that can fly through, but then get a truck that can fly two maps over go through trees, blah 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 blah, and it's like you start to narrow down the pack of what's left in certain situations, you don't always get a chance to choose where you roll. I nearly did a video the other week that was like, I was going to call it the most wrong a cargo mission could go, and it was just two or three hours, I was going to edit it, but got about two to three hours footage of me with a Navistar just rolling about four times in the same place with this cargo and I didn't have a loaf back then or if I did I didn't know the magic of the loaf so I uh yeah knowing like just watching it back the other week I if I had a loaf with me it would have just saved all that hassle I would have been able to flip the Navistar easier get the trailer back blah 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 get the Navistar back up on the road it was like on a dodgy mountain I took the fleet star with a crane it kept just tipping the fleet star um, yeah, and that's what I mean. You can't always. You might say, "Oh, well, the Tatrin is better." Like it's better at going off road. It's quicker overall off road. Uh, to be fair, the Tatrin ain't that much. The ta someone said the other day, and I believe it. The Tatrin is seems faster off road than on road, but this thing can winch the stuff and pull itself as fast as the winch. So, and that's if it needs to. I mean, it can get up all sorts of things. This is just where like I'm messing around now. Um, yeah, jumps down there, makes the corner, because it corners like a housefly. Pushing against the current. It does go pretty uh, like strong there. I've been through there in other trucks, and a lot of trucks, I even the... Uh, not the Voron, what was it? It might have been the Tega. That was pretty slow through there, because they, the uh, river narrows and the current's just slamming against you. Uh, yeah, driving along here, though, like I said, I don't need to go in the river, and a lot of stuff driving along that bank would either tip or not fit, like the Tatrin well, would go in the water up to a point though obviously if the water was pretty damn deep or it was a ledge the Tatrin wouldn't be able to get past some of them trees whereas this can I get myself over the river, it's got um, a snorkel but if I had the autonomous winch I wouldn't have to start the engine and I could pull myself through deeper water like I say what I normally do is just take two loafs and you might say well that's two but it's like yeah they're also about a fifth of the cost of a Tatrin, <laughs> so I could have five loafs for the cost of a Tatrin. Um, yeah, I don't know. I take two loafs. They're about eighty grand all in for both, including a, win a decent winch on each, an advanced on one, and an, and an autonomous on the other. Views all around, no problems. Clip my bumper a bit on there, but yeah, it gets over. Got up that little ledge and everything. Obviously, I was like, well, I'll give it one more go. Did a little bit of a handstand, just showing off now really, but yeah. All good, we're going over, going over the bridge. Right, no issues over here. So I can't remember if I've uh, put the muds back on at the minute, I can't see yet. Either the muds or the chained. Normally I do get up there, however anyway, it rode along the uh, edge a bit, but because it's tiny and it turns like a housefly, I'm good. We're off. That was a uh, glitch there, not an edit. Apologies for that. Uh, yeah, like, it's fine though. Got over the bridge, it wouldn't worry me taking it through there. You can see where the pipe goes across the water. There is actually like a narrow uh, piece of land, and I've actually, I drove it, it was one of the videos the other week, and I did the ANK. What else went over there? Might have been the Freightliner. And uh, yeah, they rolled trying to get over there. This doesn't, wouldn't, whatever. Again, massive long winch. 
I, uh, I've been over here before. This can get through here, but it's slower, whereas just stick a winch on. I mean, look at it. Now I'm over in 10 seconds, if that. That's where... Like, I don't know, I've just, I'm used to it, I just, <laughs> I can get things done pretty damn quick with it. Overall, I know, like, there's going to be specific situations. The Taiga is a beast, but there's lots of things that other trucks can beat the Taiga at, but, it, like, they're very specific. The Taiga is very good at a lot of things, but it's not the best at many things, really, but, um, yeah. Obviously, I went and put the right, uh, tyres on, got my Azov wellies on, so... This is uh this is how much better it is when yeah you put the right tires on. <laughs> I'll admit they're not cheap, but they get the job done. There was the trailer that I dumped earlier because it's being an asshole. I mean, stick it in high and we're off. Loaf's got its seatbelt on, so it ain't going anywhere. Uh, yeah, goes along here in high. Checking my uh, trailers out, make sure no criminals are snooping around. And we're good to go. But going along now, like this Azov Dolphin is just a better thing because I've got a loaf on the back and it isn't making any difference to the speed. It's not making me roll or do anything like mad and. Uh, yeah, I mean it's flying through here. Like I say, if I tip it, I've got options. Uh, I've got extra fuel options. I could like if I do it like I just haven't bothered for most of this video, but I could put a roof rack on it. Funny enough, I was trying the roof rack at some point yesterday or the day before, and uh, the roof rack on this has got like 300 points, which is it's like basically as much as the maintenance trailer that goes on the back of like the Royal. And fuel, uh, I can't remember what it's got. It's either, like 150 maybe or 200, but either way, it's enough fuel to like bang some in and pretty much guaranteed to reach a fuel station, worst case, or finish your mission. But yeah, 300 repair points is and four tyres is uh, pretty crazy. And like I say, with the right tyres on, get your wellies on and uh, goes through the snow pretty well. It is nay a problem. I mean, look at it. That tree was talking shit. Loaf doesn't doesn't roll like that. Showed that tree his boss. Started laughing when I hit the other tree. I ain't laughing anymore. So I'm gonna stick a uh, stick a winch on the dolphin's ass and we're off. So view from the loaf, like say, I mean, bloody amazing to be honest. I can see behind me. I can see the sky. I can see the floor. See heaven and hell, and see my wheels, and see Pulp Fiction. So, Zombie Dolphin has its uses, but I'll admit, you're best off just driving by the wheels, <laughs> drive by the wheelies. That's what it's got. Some cars have got what is it? Drive by wire. This has got drive by wheelies. Uh, I mean, yeah. Again, deep snow, shallow snow. It doesn't really care. It goes through the lot. Right, it does catch its nose a bit more with these tyres on, but get that with the big jobs. Still gets up there though. Not a problem. Goes through this pretty deep mud like it's nothing. I mean, I drop it in high and it makes it through there. Probably goes through here in high. With its seatbelt on, it's, it ain't coming out of there. It's a professional. It's done a rally driving course. Uh, yeah, nailed through that mud. Good as gold. Get yourself a loaf. Don't know what you're missing. Can you hear that noise? Like, this game has a habit of feeding noises into the game. That when you're in your headset at night, you just stop playing. Like, what the hell is that? It's like voices behind me and all sorts. Like this game turns into a horror game at times. And you hear trees start creaking, it's like when you've got some type of surround sound headset and they start creaking behind you, you're looking around like, what the hell is that? Is that, is that my cat? There's like Jason Voorhees behind me. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, it gets over, see, it didn't ride, <laughs> ride the lip of that rock. Um, 
with the proper proper tyres on flies through snow. I believe that was a glitch. It's not an edit, but yeah. I mean, look at it. Get itself a loaf. Get itself dolphin and loaf. <laughs> like I said, it's like a fragrance. I think all those other wiggly lines are uh, me and my loaf earlier. Well, I mean, the same loaf, just different tyres. Grips better. Goes over that tree stump. Stick it back in auto. It probably would have just wheel span in high, to be honest. But, but yeah, it wouldn't. Not the best option. And we're out. We're away. See, doesn't roll easily. Like, not really any easier than the uh, dolphin rolls, anyway. And I might say it motors pretty damn well when it's got bigger wheels on it. So that's what I like with dolphin and loaf. I stick them together and it's just better it's better than the sum of its parts uh, yeah mud test with a loaf I mean not bad considering I will say jokes aside I could just winch to the trees and drive along the left edge I've done it before I definitely can do it this let's say I couldn't reach that tree with the uh, dolphin there's a glitch there so I apologize but it's uh, winch reached right way across the mud, grabbed the tree at the end. I'm now in the uh, loaf, not the dolphin. That's me shoving the dolphin along then with my winch and then, without even getting out of the loaf, I just look down, stick a winch on the dolphin's ass and drive out of there. So, yeah, like, you'll see later it is, um, it's, it's bordering on disgusting how lazy I've become with this loaf just sat on its dolphin perch and I'm just grabbing things and it's like I mean, yeah. So, I was like, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I'll stop with the jokes flying around with the dolphin. But it can get itself out of there if it needs to. It's got work to do. It doesn't mess around. So, yeah, we'll go and do a snow test. Like, again, I already know the, I know the answer personally. Like, it's not going to be rapid. It's not as bad as you think. It's still, it's got very nice torque to go up hills and that. This is where I wanted to say I do believe that front kind of roof rack bull bar front roll cage thing I believe does have weight to it and in some situations I need to do more testing so I'm not going to say for certain but I reckon it can help weigh the nose down more and when you're going up some steep hills it might like because of the power of this thing like I said it's probably nuclear um, if you're going up a steep hill and you just floor it, you'll essentially wheelie and you can, uh, well yeah, you could roll backwards or you let off and you'll probably settle back down, but point being it like lifts the weight off the front tyres a bit, but that front roof racky thing, but it's not the roof rack, like, yeah, I need to do more testing like I say, but I just thought I'd mention it. So we're at the top of the mountain, no real issues, where you've seen it catch its nose, I prefer that because when I'm trying to rescue things, it's nice to just dig this thing's nose in. It gets over plenty of stuff, but when you really need it to dig its nose in, it just does. It has that perfect balance where it works. So, did a rolling test. Obviously, I've, well, I was flying around here all day. Like, I was doing like another hour's worth of stuff between the mountain and here. But, um, yeah, you can roll it and it'll land on its roof. I believe I'll leave a little bit in later where it does. Because, like I say, I'm not trying to... Um, make it out to be something it's not it's just insanely good for 11 grand stock and 37 odd grand fully upgraded it's uh it's insanely good and again with the winches like it's the same for everything it seems but i don't i've got a feeling it's a bug because it happened around the time when uh, they updated it last and i don't know fingers crossed it'll get fixed say in the next update when they give us the first dlc I mean, it gets up there just fine. That's where I'd like to go back later and test it with them front bull bar things. But I didn't realise until, uh, like, hours later. And, yeah, like I say, there's the video's fairly long as it is, and uh, I've got a lot to fit in. <laughs> See, though? I know my horse. I know my horse on the edge. And then now, 
I was I genuinely wasn't trying to get further along. I wanted to roll it. You can see a fuel trailer at the bottom. Like every now and then, I do go there if I can make it that far. And as you'll see, dodgy bounce there. It landed up like this, and it did sit there for about a minute or two, and it eventually tipped like that. And if I had an autonomous winch, it'd be a piece of piss. I'd be out there in seconds. Obviously. Uh, I had a dolphin just down the road. Like I said, it's not got 100% not rolling record. Nothing has, nothing will. But it's got 100% rescue record. But that doesn't mean even mean with that that it's like first time every time. Like I've tried winching things sometimes, and it's like, oh, that won't quite tip. I'll wedge it behind a tree. So, but yeah, in the end, it's rescued every single thing, planned and unplanned. And I uh, touch wood, I've not failed yet. So anyway, now we're off to the uh, the old quarry. And this is where, as you see, I, like, again, I'm not saying it's the best in mud by far, but it's uh, it ain't as bad as... I think it's like... I've tried other scouts, and I, w I wouldn't say most scouts. Again, the Tatrin is a bit of an oddball. It is an APC chassis. It's 150-odd grand. Like, it is in a bit of a league of its own for going off-road, but it's still... Yeah, there's gaps it can't make, etc, etc. The, uh, the Tatran is pretty good for rolling back on its wheels as well, though. But if you do get it rolled upside down, like halfway down a mountain and you're wedged up against the tree, it's pretty difficult to flip back. This thing is, like, practically one of the easiest scouts in the game to flip back wherever you are. Uh, yeah, got through there just fine. Yeah, I did stick a winch on at the end, but... Like, it's got a massive long winch, so why not? Flies down here like a rally special. See, the thing is, I don't think it's slow, but it's not so fast that you're like, whoa, and you can't keep up. It's like, it's very just consistent, and you get there. This was just messing around. Now, I'd already been messing around for about another hour at this point. Um, I just wanted to try this, and it worked. <laughs> I mean, that road is officially blocked. I probably could have squeezed around the left edge, but obviously I've seen this. Fancied my chances? <laughs> yes. Get yourself a loaf. I mean, like I said, get get a Tatran through there because that thing is wedged against a telegraph pole, so it doesn't matter how much horsepower you've got. You're just going to bounce off that trailer. Right, this was perfect. This, this is why I left this in. I could have easily edited this out and just pretended it didn't happen. I rolled the loaf not just going down the quarry, I was trying to go up the rock face. But they've landed back to back, and like I said, one's got the advanced winch, one's got the autonomous. This is like the most awkward way you could possibly land back to back. But I'll stick a winch from front to back, pull them that way, one of them's going to end up like less than 90 degrees. And I'm away. And that is the magic of the loaf. If, I, if that happened on Pedro Bay, I'm not recovering to Northport and driving two maps back over. Again, easy to flip. I'm not going to leave much of this trailer in. Regardless of the loaf, this trailer is an absolute joke. Like, it was a joke. I remember it with the Hummer. I, I really, really don't like this trailer. And, uh, yeah, I'm wheeling at the minute. I don't know if that front ball bar would do a lot. But I'm sure... I have pulled a trailer up here before, and I didn't uh, wheelie as much as that. But I'm going on a pretty good angle. The loaf isn't tipping, which again is one of the uh, plus sides to it. However, it ain't going to happen up here. Again, I think I'd have a better chance of winching a like truck trailer up there with two cargo on it. This trailer, it's the problem is the wheels on it are tiny. It's got mud flaps that are like spades in front of the tyres. And then obviously it's axle that goes along the middle of the tyres. Because they're tiny and they just... You only have to sink like a few inches into the mud and the axle's now dragging along the floor. So, yeah, the loaf isn't getting this trailer up here. Well, I've got two loaves and I'll winch it up there. So, again, if I just set off with two loaves, I could do it and I would do it, but I'm not recommending it. I wouldn't I wouldn't haul cargo with any scout, not even the Tatran, because you're going to waste your winch on the trailer. Obviously, there might be certain situations where you've got the Tatran close by, blah, blah, blah. But, yeah, I'd, I'd haul with trucks. But as you can see there, once I was like where the axles aren't digging in, I was driving along just fine. This the loaf would like eat this for breakfast driving along the road, up road like hilly roads. Again, I might have to make a part two because Yeah, I've got uh I've got all sorts I could do with this thing. Like stick a winch on the loaf, 
that's further up the hill. As you can see, they're both driving up the hill, so I'd get up just fine now. Uh, I drove the loaf to the top of the hill, though, put it in its little loaf hole. I wanted to see how far I could reach the winch, and it was obviously pretty damn far. And, uh, yeah, I get up the hill, and, yeah, I'm using two loaves. <laughs> I'm cheating. I don't care. Uh, but I'm only using loafs, and I'm using the advanced winch. Like, that's part of the magic of it. And, yeah, other scouts have got the same winch, but can every other scout pull the same, go off-road the same, tip the same, wedge against trees the same? Like, the Tatrin, as an example, you can't wedge the front of it against a tree because it's like a ramp and it'll just ramp its way up the tree and then it'll roll sideways off the tree especially because it's not got a central winch point at the front and then you can say yeah well alright I'll turn the Tatrin round and reverse it up to the tree you all know the turning circle of the Tatrin try turning it round in a tight mass of trees on the side of a mountain and it's a different story because as soon as you start wheeling the Tatrin can't turn and yeah it's just like there is things other things can do better specifically but this thing is just an absolute horse of a vehicle that just never stops that trailer was pissing me off so I rammed it off the uh, mountain started rolling down like I'm not worrying at the minute I was just thinking okay <laughs> we'll see it'll stop eventually there we go loaf approved uh, flew off with my other loaf because why not I'll show you in a minute well, probably not in a minute, but you'll see later how I got up there. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Sabotage by my own loaf. But again, it's a good example. I bring two loaves. This is, a, like, as I've said, I could have just edited this out. If this had happened with other reviews, I usually would edit it out. And, well, probably I've not really tried jumping down the hills, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, there you go. Like, what, a second it took to flip back? Like... It weighs so little that it's just easy. I mean, I've got like purple rainbow smoke coming out of it. That's how good things are going. As you can see though, it flies up this hill. Like, yeah, it get, gets all over the place. Like, I don't think there is anywhere I can't get. And you'll see more of that uh, coming up pretty soon. As for a water test, to be honest, <laughs> I genuinely did forget to do a water test because I was just having the time on my life doing all this sort of stuff. However, you have seen it in other videos, it can drive in water up to and deeper than its snorkel. So, yeah, it, it can drive around in water, like, as long as it's one centimetre shallower than the snorkel can take, which is above the roof. I mean, it's a, basically a submarine, like, and uh, yeah, that's it, <laughs> it's a submarine submarine loaf but uh, I'm in the dolphin fancied my chances of trying to get over to the other map you see this is what I mean the loaf the loaf knows people so it has ways of getting to the other side of the map and to be honest this used to work but it doesn't anymore I turn the uh, Azov engine off because it's drowning I attach a winch from the loaf to the Azov and then start pulling the winch in and revving it and that makes the Azov drive forward but as you can see the Azov engine is still taking damage whereas I've probably got the footage somewhere I've just got about 500 pieces of footage but it'll take me five hours to try and find it but I've done that before and I'm pretty damn certain I drove through the water didn't take any damage it was like a little work around to get round like taking engine damage when you go underwater uh, yeah so by the time I got the dolphin and loaf to this point which is like halfway to the island obviously engines damage this is where I realized the roof right look at it like 300 points four wheels at this point I was like bloody hell I thought I honestly thought it was like 150 or something so I started fixing everything I was like sod it everyone can have some free repairs, some fuel. Stick his seatbelt on. And we're off. I tell you, this pair could make it to Mars. I remember reading the other week with Mars, it was saying uh, when they want to send humans, like, they're worried about how lonely they'll be on the way. Like, I'd be fine at that. Well, no problem. 
Give me some film so what then again actually. I probably wouldn't send me to Mars. <laughs> I'll be I'll be cracking one off if I've left the atmosphere. Especially if I'm left alone in a rocket. I'm like what else is there to do? By the time I get there, I tell you, I'd look like a fucking skeleton vacuum packed in skin. Just see my eyes moving like one of them old cat clocks. Like NASA, <laughs> I've done fucked up. Houston, we got a problem. Send everything you got. Police, fire, ambulance, mountain rescue, a Samaritan, a priest, them little mad lads that jump out of helicopters, tell them to bring their flippers, because, trust me, <laughs> this rocket is scientifically fucked, and it ain't rocket science. Just write it off, walk away, put it down to experience. She's done. I'll just blame them anyway. Oh, why the hell did you send me for Mars? I have no rocketry experience whatsoever. I said I like being on my own. You didn't ask why though, did you? Blame them. Hopefully I meet aliens. <laughs> Doors will open, everything will come spilling out, just wait for it all to stop dripping off the steps. Be like, you ain't got a sandwich, are you boys? I'm fucking starving. I'm malnourished. Anyway, <laughs> I'll stop talking bollocks. Um, yeah, as you can see, of course, Dolphin and Loaf made it to the island. Like a professional. I mean, I had plenty more island exploration going on, but I had to edit pretty much all of it out, but yeah, for a loaf, she wades pretty deep. And uh, you've even got this little river thing that goes up the island. Like I say, I'm, it's a bit... I wish there was some kind of Easter egg over here. Personally, I still vote for a Tyrannosaurus Rex that just comes flying out the trees. I know it'd be unusual, but admit it, if you were just driving along now, and then you heard all the trees breaking. I, it'd be a good feeling. So I remember the game Torok. I did not know how to kill that T-Rex at the end. And it just kept chasing me around. It was the biggest buzz. Scariest fun game ever. Because I just... Eventually, years later, YouTube happened. And I watched it. And then I killed the T-Rex. Uh, yeah, I mean, drives up that stream. Like, it almost... It feels more like it's got eight wheels than four, if I'm honest. Uh, Tiptoe, I got to the end anyway of the stream. But, again, this is why you get yourself a loaf. Stick a winch on the loaf. See the lack of tension, though? They've done something. I had to jiggle the loaf around, but I rolled the uh, dolphin, and just to make sure... Ta-da! Now it's like a little wedge. The wheels are going to hook over the sideboard, and the dolphin ain't going to roll. And then I can just stick a winch, and I'm off. I mean, remember the good times? Remember when it hung on to the crane like a professional? And we had the Swiss Army Dolphin. I wouldn't be possible without a loaf. Now, I mean, look at this. This is where this loaf is just... They're showing off. So, I'm at the top of this gigantic rock. There's clearly no way that yellow loaf is driving up here. Stick a winch on it. The only reason I edited that little bit out is because when I started pulling, the winch went through the rock. So it was a lot shorter, so I drove forward first, then reeled the winch in. Look at it, I just pulled that thing up a vertical, st like, rock cliff. Got up here, I was so I was paying attention to the yellow one, I didn't even realise until about now that I dropped uh, my OG loaf off. And then look, stick a winch on it. Like, again, the yellow one's got the autonomous winch, the black one's got the advanced scout winch, or yeah, the advanced, like the most expensive one. I mean, I get anywhere I got damn please in this thing, and then, just for the hell of it, do you know what, it glitches now, and I'll gutted, because it would perfect, right? It landed roof first on the trailer, bounced off and landed on its nose, but it glitched, sadly, would have been perfect. I mean, just, you got friends, you good, you get wherever you like, see, that one lowers me down, I just fling that one off, because it doesn't matter, I've got a, got a loaf, I've got a winch attached, and we're off. Keep pulling, it'll eventually just roll back to its wheels, as usual. I did actually edit this out, the uh, Rift gameplay, and the reason I wanted to leave it in here is because, like, as you can see, they're actually not bad, like, I get up that rock, it's going along here just fine. Uh, basically, every time, like, when, especially when they're very close together, um, as I'm driving, like, obviously the back loaf is driving, call that custom loaf, the front one's the black loaf. Um, the custom loaf is always pushing, so you have kind of have got like eight wheels worth of grip. Obviously, I've got uh, the advanced winch on the black loaf, I've got the autonomous winch on the custom loaf. Just call it that because of the custom paint job. Um, 
yeah, and as you can see, I'm going wherever I like. I could have refrax on either, you know, either or or both, and if I had it on both, I'd have 600 repair points on me. Uh, but yeah, ever since the refrack bug, I've just sort of left them anyway. I'll bring a trailer and that if I need to. You'd think obviously our river is going to be a bit iffy, but it's just not two loafs together. Like any time the first loaf slows down, the second one's just going to keep pushing it like there. And I keep going at this nice distance. When you're winching something, they seem to push very nicely, like rather than, I don't know, like it's, uh, it seems more fluent when they're very close together as well. But yeah, got over that river, absolutely no issues. And we're off. Off to do more loafy things. I mean, look at it. I wasn't happy. Sat on the back of the P16. I wanted to get a better vantage point. Scouting out the uh, army base because, you know, got to know these things. I mean, look at it. I'm in the loaf now as well, so press accelerator. Put the handbrake on. I mean, like, I spotted that watchtower. Like, that's right, boys. I see ya. Now I know. So this is how I steal trailers from the army base because I know where that watchtower is. And now, when the guy in the binoculars is looking out, he's like, no, sir, it's just a trailer on its own. No one's stealing it. It's like, exactly. That's what I wanted you to think. When he's not looking, drop my hammer and we're off. Eyeball Stamps Nation corner. Right, I've saved both of you multiple times. Say a goddamn word and I'll take you up into them hills and I'll bury you. And we're off. It's like Golden Eye Dam, only I didn't have to bungee rope off a dam 50 times. No alarms went off. I'm just me and the loaf and it's roof rack biggest roof rack in the business. If you want to get it off, just reverse, hard steer, <laughs> pops off like a good un. Stick your massive long winch on something that you can reach about, yeah, <laughs> about as long as my eyeballs can see to the, in the distance. And I'm off! You're like, yes boys, guess what? We've got a trailer. Well, we've got a trailer closer than I've ever got it back before to the trailer store, so good result. Well, good effort. Now, driving, I'm in the loaf, you can tell because obviously there's smoke coming out of the exhaust, and I'm driving a zombie, a zombie dolphin. Goes pretty nicely, going through the ditches. Uh, this drilling equipment, funny enough, that was how I found out about the uh, cargo container glitch. I didn't even drop this uh, drilling equipment either, I just I happened to have a crane nearby and I was like, oh, I wonder if I can lift that. Lifted it out the cargo, the semi-trailer. Went to put it back in, it fell through to the floor. It's lived there ever since. Um, yeah, once you get motoring in the loaf, with its big tyres on, goes pretty well. Its tyres has got its own suspension, so that's not harm in the loaf. I'm good. Kills trees whenever I feel like it. Like a good loaf should. That tree was on the list. Now, I'm definitely in the loaf. Smoke coming out of the exhaust. I mean, look at it. Threads that gap like a beauty. Trees. They were on the list. They're dealt with. Loaf doesn't take prisoners. <laughs> Look at this one. Like how close? That's the closest I've seen a tree to go and not go. It's on the list though. I mean, this. This is just an exercise in. Look at it. I'm like on my dolphin throne, just lazy. Like stuck a winch on the derry. I told the derry to get out the ditch. Stick a winch on Bruce. I'd, I. I. At the whole point through this, I don't get out of the loaf. I'm just. The Azov with more tyres, etc., has better forward grip. So, I'm pushing against the sideboard, and we're going to flip Bruce. Bruce is now flipped, and I don't even have to change or anything. Look. I just look around, stick a winch on the dolphin's ass, and I reverse. I mean, how much fun is this? this is like Sigourney Weaver in that. like, cargo mechanic suit thing. Like, get off of you, bitch. I'm in the time of your life. Tell Bruce to reverse out, long story short. Told Dan to reverse out, he listened. Loaf's a professional. Stick a winch on the dolphin's ass, because I want to go forward. And we go forward. Right. Loaf approved for the Dan. Stick a winch on the side of the loaf. On the Tager. Tager's going to flip before my, my dolphin throne does. Take a flip, stick a winch on it, tell it to move forward, tell it to move backwards, tell it to move forwards again. 
Because <laughs> the loaf does whatever it likes. It takes charge. So anyway, I changed the daytime. I told the Tager to get moving out of the way. For some reason, again, the accelerator with the winch is a bit weird recently. It doesn't accelerate as fast as it used to, unless times where it's like I really didn't need it to. But stick a loaf on the uh, dolphin's ass and we're off again. Like I say, my loaf goes through muddy fields and all sorts. Started looking around, got my eye on them hay bales. Um, yeah, to be honest, I, I forgot to even try with the Azov whether I could reach that lamppost or not. However, the loaf can reach the lamppost. And as you can see, I'm in the loaf, I'm pushing a dolphin along. Like, I'm able to get this dolphin places it couldn't go alone. I could near enough push this thing up a vertical surface and then carry on about my business once I'm up there. So, yeah, the dolphin and loaf, like, they're just a better package than they're like, they're better than the sum of their parts. That was the zombie uh, dolphin. Anyway, like I said, I had my eye on them hay bales, I fancied one. And uh, it kept sort of riding up under the dolphin a bit, so stick a loaf on the uh, stick a loaf on the winch, stick a winch on the loaf, stick it to the telegraph pole. Now look, we've got some hay. I'm a horse of a vehicle. I needed some hay. Hay secured. Farmer will be running after me like, hey, give me back my hay. Um, yeah, cornering. This is the uh, it's four on wellies, but I mean it, it's got all kinds of shoes. I mean, look, little mishap jumps out like, well, hang on, what's going on? Who needs rescuing? I'm ready. I'm a professional. Uh, somebody said they were having a bit of trouble driving their loaf through this muddy bit in drowned land, so I came out of the girls testing my roll cage out. Pretty bloody good, I might add. <laughs> and I've still got a winch now. Not even used my seatbelt, because I've got, yeah, a roll cage. Um, dolphin roll cage. Like I say, put the right shoes on. My, my loaf. My loaf goes through mud just fine. I'm mean, alright, all good time. Goes pretty quick, to be honest. I'd probably say it's about as quick as a uh, off-road dolphin through that. As for here, I mean, this is Black River Crossing. It's a little bit later than it normally is in the video, but I'm clearly in the loaf. There is no doubt about it. I'm having loaf time. Everyone's happy. Um, yeah, interior views. I mean, 360. See everything. Yeah, stuck a winch on the Tager, and I'm off. I mean, I'll fast forward it. But look, I even went over this hill. Swerved to the right. And yeah, I mean, long story short, we made it over just fine. But I also could have just stuck a winch to it and towed it over. And anyway, this is the dangers of a prostate exam. <laughs> Funnily enough, some guy the other day said, yeah, we should just man up and have the prostate exam. It's one of them where it's like, he's right, <laughs> and yet. Still, just not yet. Um, yeah, I've decided as well, if I do go for a prostate exam, I think I might shove a kinder egg up my ass. So if he starts rooting around for too long and he finds it, and he says, what the hell is this? I can say, well, it's a surprise, isn't it? Um, yeah, put a little note in there saying, if you can read this, stop having an eater egg hunt on my ass and get on with it, will you? You're enjoying yourself now, and that makes me uncomfortable. But, like the guy said, you might find something you enjoy. I might get a hot female nurse, stick another kinder egg up there, saying, if you can read this, keep going until you find the fucking teddy bear's picnic. Walk out there two hours later, kicking the receptionist door open. Walking like John Wayne after riding a white horse for too long. Like, howdy prostate. Asking her if I can borrow some bloody ice. I'm like, trust me though, you will not receive it back in an ice-like condition. I mean, loaf, look at it. Not happy about a prostate exam. Went nuts. Started looking for DLC in the mountain. So yeah, I mean, to be honest, I'm up at night as well. So like I said to the guy, if I could be fingered at my own convenience, it would help. But I have to get... Like, I have to be up in the day. That's how I clipped that wall with the M5 because I had to be there in the day for my dodgy knee and it was doing my head in. So, one day, all man up and do it, but yeah, we'll see. Just not not today. <laughs> um, obviously, cargo loaf. It's professional, knows what it's doing. I was hauling cargo along, but this is where the loaf thinks about me. It knew if it flew off with the cargo that I was just going to have to go down and clean it up again. In fact, it's usually the loaf. The loaf got that red trailer back to there. Which, at which point I just gave up because I was having fun doing other things. Having a look over the cliff, not really happy with the situation. Stick a winch on. And like, stick myself back to the uh, trailer. All is good. But obviously, this is a loaf. I had to show you. Show you what she's capable of. Release the Kraken. Uh, yeah, a loaf's fine getting down the cliffs. I see. I think you should know by now. <laughs> Fancy me chances, but nope. 
disappears for a second. Of course, it's alright, it's a goddamn horse of a vehicle. Reverse down here. See, right now you might be thinking, oh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm just having a sip of my coffee. Like, thank you, loaf. Thank you for thinking about me. Get down here. Like, yes. Oh my god. Clean the place up. Who the hell's been around here? And, uh, yeah, last little thing. I mean, loaf's professional. Hangs on when it needs to. It ain't leaving the back of this truck. And fly down here. The club is actually pretty good for getting down here because it's so bottom heavy. I mean, look at it. Loaf ain't going nowhere. You got a friend in need. You got a friend in loaf. Going along here, you're probably thinking, well, I don't know. I don't know if it can hang on in there. She's made of iron, sir. I assure you, she can. And she will. It is a mathematical certainty. God, <laughs> it's a goddamn horse of a vehicle. How many times do I have to say it? Get yourself a loaf. Get yourself five. Jeff just gone and got ten. And he's the one who found the speed bug, the Jeff, the Jeff special, so he knows. I mean, yeah, now you're thinking, oh god, he's rolled it, but you see, stick it in high, floor it till you gnaw it, burn that mud away, and we're off. Dolphin and tuna can't be stopped. Dolphin and loaf can't be stopped. The loaf with anything can't be stopped. It's unstoppable. It's SnowRunner 2.0. It's a beast. It's a horse. It's a professional. It's everything you want it to be. Get yourself a loaf. That's today's review. Go for a hard left. I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon.